California Green Bud, the pure Kush, is the best in the world. Back down south in Orange County, a vendor and dispensary manager signed the necessary documents for growing and transporting the product into a dispensary. Marijuana for you. Mm -hmm. Pineapple Kush is an all-natural medicine which we distribute to people that need the medicine to be comfortable in life. This medicine is now a year old. This was harvested last year. You can see by the kind of darker green color, it's uh, still good. Nice. My name is Bill Kroger. I'm a lawyer here in Los Angeles. I practice in the federal and state courts, and our practice is mainly defending medical marijuana individuals, whether they're growers or they're vendors or they're dispensaries. California marijuana is the largest cash crop. If they could somehow reel in those dollars that are being just spent and not collected, our state would have a, a lot more money. In fact, maybe they could keep the schools open for the summer and hire more police officers and keep people in prison longer. <laughs> A local neighbor patrolling around on an ATV warns of a nearby bus taking place. Hey, how are you doing? They busted the moving price of Spy Rock. They had a command center right in there. Really? Now they got a command center at the Adenac Ranch. Some guys told Wendell that they're coming back Monday. In 1983, Camp, or Campaign Against Marijuana Planting, was born. And even though marijuana was the only industry keeping the entire region from becoming a third world slum, our government started the task of spending millions and millions of tax dollars attempting to eradicate the evil doer hippie weed. California is used for beta tests by the federal government. And they know that the fact that Californians demanded an end to marijuana prohibition was a big blow against unconstitutional federal control. Your enamel triangle they're constantly flying this area, surveilling this area, the feds, camp, Comet, County of Mendocino eradication teams, and Humboldt County eradication teams are coming down through the Emerald Triangle here. 20 years later, camp continues its futile effort of eradication, but for a new evolving breed of grower who play by the new rules, the bus have nearly stopped. The Holistic Club is the sole grower of Pineapple Kush and are recognized by the state of California with an article of incorporation as a legitimate nonprofit medical marijuana provider. This is why we have the sign here. This is just showing them that we are in fact incorporated. All of our accounts are incorporated and we are providing our medicine for our patient members of our collective. Back in the early 80s, Philip Morris bought over 50,000 acres in the Triangle making it obvious that people way up at the top are hedging their bets that marijuana will be totally legalized. The rewards of letting people get in touch with one of nature's miracles is the greatest reward here. Back in Hollywood, Ed Fortune, or Weed Man, starts his daily routine. My name is Robert Edward Fortune Jr., um, but I'm publicly called the New Jersey Weed Man. I've been to prison twice in New Jersey for doing exactly what I'm doing here, providing marijuana. I came here specifically so that I can provide marijuana legally. I can make a living. I pay taxes um, without the fear of arrest. <laughs> the guys on the south side of the city selling out of their homes and their cars doesn't take much, really, to go to the city self-business license. I'm happy with Obama. I, Obama promised that, that he was going to stop the uh, raids and allow for states' rights, and that's what this is. The state of California has instituted medical marijuana. For all practical purposes, it seemed as if the federal government was finally abiding by the will of the people. And for all the doubts that have arisen during Obama's first six months in office, it seemed as if he was living up to his campaign promises to stop raiding legitimate caregivers. 
medical marijuana in the same way with the same controls as other drugs prescribed by doctors. I think that's entirely appropriate. I voted for Obama. Uh, I believe we needed some desperate change in Washington, but I do not believe he's going to live up to the promises he made on medical marijuana, at least until the second term. Barack Obama came in and said, hey, you guys have won. I'm a progressive. We're going to decriminalize marijuana laws, but we're going to bring in all this bureaucratic red tape. So he lulled people to sleep to where they thought everything was okay. And now the government is coming in to regulate and overtax and control it. Besides no longer having to watch a mentally challenged president on TV, it's hard to tell if anything has really changed. The economy is heading down, job losses, war is continuing, and people are still sitting in jail and going to jail for illegal drugs, including marijuana. But if you happen to be lucky enough to live in one of the 14 states that have legalized medical marijuana, you should have noticed a change. Standing in clear vision of the Sheriff's Department, the people of West Hollywood proudly and happily danced to songs about using vaporizers instead of pipes or joints. After all, they fought for it, so they deserve it. And now they can all smoke weed every day. One more time. Vapo, vapo, vapo. And here I was living with AIDS, and I didn't think I would live six months. And here I am, 13, 14 years later, with 600 T cells, undetectable like Magic Johnson, and I produced this event. And I did it for the patients. Whatever is on my epitaph, it'll be, I did it for the patients. And for the friendly folks of West Hollywood, the future never looked brighter. I love you all, my children. One, two. Now, now, there is continued outrage tonight following a DEA raid on a medicinal marijuana clinic. Several law enforcement agencies raided the dispensaries in Culver City and West Los Angeles, along with the owner's home. Reports say officers shot and wounded a pit bull at one location. The drug agents won't give details on the owner's arrest, but they say they seized 200 plants, 100 pounds of marijuana, and $100,000 in cash. Just when all the pot-smoking citizens thought it was safe, the DEA, along with the FBI and local LAPD, swooped down on two local dispensaries and the home of owner Jeff Joseph. Wait a second, why are they shooting our dog? Why don't they bring one of the other agencies? This is the government, they have access to animal control, they have access to all these uh, things to be able to protect themselves and the citizens. Why would they shoot our dog? My name is Jeff Joseph. I'm a LA native, West LA native. My father actually died of cancer and I saw cannabis benefit him from medicinal uses. With his place still in shambles from the raid, Jeff walks through the scene of the crime. Came here, forced our door open, pulled somebody out. From there, our dog started barking and they shot the dog. This is the dog's blood. This is where he was shot originally. And uh, apparently he was the, the officers are, are afterwards, are, you know, when they, when they were looking for the dog, they said, where's the dog? And they said, oh, he's just bleeding out oh, in yeah. the corner. They just said, just let him bleed out in the corner, he'll be fine. Said, no, the employees were crying. Call animal control, call animal control, what's wrong with you guys? And then the uh, DEA goes, oh, I thought I shot him in the head. Actually, I think it was the FBI I said, oh, I think I shot him in the head, like laughing, ha <laughs> ha. They, they busted the door in and before I could even figure out what was going on, they were in my face, get the fuck on the ground. And I was over here, like, gun in my face for the first time ever, like not knowing what to do, just dropping to the ground. And, Powers in the people, you know? Obama doesn't have that much power as we're seeing now. The people had the power to get him into office because we wanted the change, but he can't effectively make the change happen, so. We don't have a lot of details right now about what happened last week uh, uh, down in Venice and in Culver City. Um, my impression is that local law enforcement is very unhappy with the, uh, with the location uh, and the existence of a medical marijuana facility that borders Culver City and Los Angeles. They had me on the ground and zip tied my wrist and that's pretty much um, a week after. It's very devastating and, and in fact when I go into a dispensary after it's been raided I always suggest that anybody who was there at the raid should go see therapy because having a gun put to your head or a gun pointed at you is not a fun thing and it's something that you can't just shrug off. So, so they said destroying your security cameras was for your safety? For our safety and their safety. How is that for your safety? I don't know. You know do Jeff's situation is very sad. Jeff is a, a really great person that works in the community so people understand what's going on. And 
his shop really catered to people that needed medicine and he was a very compassionate person. If somebody came in and needed some medicine and couldn't afford it, Jeff would always be there for them and he has known to be take in homeless people and let them sleep you know, at his house or location. So I think there's a lot of good things to be said about Jeff and, and the, the way he ran his club and the way he treated the community. Out of approximately a thousand dispensaries in the Southland, why was Jeff Joseph singled out? And we know a year ago that local law enforcement was involved in bringing the DEA to that facility to shut it down. And I suspect that what's happened now is that they're very disturbed to find that a year later the patients are still operating this facility and it's still open. And uh, this is a follow-up on that previous raid. In 2008, a photograph taken of a DEA raid on Organica spread across the internet. Uh, what's happened since then is Jeff reopened and Culver City didn't like it again. In fact, they were doing surveillance on it. Uh, we know this because we've represented a few people coming out of there. And they probably once again called the DEA and LAPD, and they pulled together a lot of different agencies from the state and from the federal government, and they conducted a raid. What we call that is a smash and grab raid, where they just smash in and grab everything and leave. And it's pretty clear from those experiences, which are, are, are the norm in California, that uh, we're not really seeing a, a sincere effort to enforce federal drug law, but rather an effort to interfere uh, in California's implementation and to make the operation of medical cannabis facilities, uh, the collectives and cooperatives, as, as difficult and as frightening and as costly as possible. Even though California and other states have legalized marijuana, we've seen a massive increase in smash and grab raids where they come in, smash up the medical marijuana dispensary, steal the pot, steal the money, and then only put a small amount into their evidence lockers. They have a lovely picture of Obama here. That was the point, right? I think that was his official quote about medical marijuana or marijuana. Uh, we still have patients wanting to know if they can access their medicine, and unfortunately at the moment, we're closed. Sorry guys, we're closed right now. We're closed. We're closed right now. Uh, it's undetermined. Uh, God bless you. Thank you for coming. George Washington wrote in letters about how he grew the weed and how wonderful this herb was and how it was one of the most uh, dynamic of plants. He discussed and wrote about how he would smoke it if he had a headache or a stomachache. Many of the founding fathers, many of the Puritan preachers smoked it in their pipes. Now understand folks, I remember speaking in this film and I don't smoke marijuana. But I do understand, and I have looked at the medical information on it, uh, it is not as bad for you and has many medicinal uses, but it's not as bad for you as alcohol is. The deaths related to alcohol are massive. <laughs> Nice. Hi, I'm Craig X. You're at the Beverly Hills Green Cross. I am known as the pro pop pastor, I guess, since I started Temple 420. I believe God created cannabis when he created all the plants on the planet. It's for all people to use. And that the world is being oppressed by a fascist government. Obama and the rest of the administration, the entire US government, except for a few exceptions, people like Ron Paul, are, have sold themselves out to this new world order. We are about to have hyperinflation in the US like you wouldn't believe and there's gonna be a crisis that they're gonna to have to solve. This is how 